So in the last video, I mentioned a couple of settings that I've changed in my OpenCPN setup to allow it to work a little bit more effectively. Let's go through those settings in a bit more detail. So from the options menu, you can see here that on the connections tab, I've changed the setup to use NMEA. The default here is Signal K, and normally all of the data that's in Signal K gets sent across to OpenCPN, and you don't really have much of an option to configure what is sent across. And I've found that that's caused a couple of instabilities in my setup. So if you go to Networks and click on the Addresses and Ports tabs, it'll give you the IP address and the ports that your Signal K setup uses to send various bits of information around. And I've changed mine to use NMEA rather than the default 3000 port, which is all of Signal K's data. You can see here it's 10110. Change your Signal K to TCP 10110 and hit apply, and that will then use NMEA rather than Signal K. You can also do a little bit more setup in a plugin and only send the specific information that you want to cross. And I found that that also helps. So head over to Signal K, make sure that you're logged in. And in the plugins menu, select what it is converting from Signal K back to NMEA 0183. And you can see here now, these are the options that I've enabled to send that data from Signal K back over to other things. So I also use this for AIS. So this is how I convert AIS information. But I'm also converting it across to send specific things such as uh, wind data, rudder, uh, position information, things like that. And I found by only sending those bits and bobs across that actually OpenCPN is a lot more stable. So the next thing I just want to touch on is data prioritization. So if you click on data connections, you can see here at the bottom that you can select a path and its priorities. So what this will do is it will use one source over another. And for quite a long time, I've had a problem with date time from the CTORT network. The month of my date time would flick between one month and the next month. And that caused the Pi to update. It caused the time to go wrong and, and a few other issues. So I got myself a USB GPS device. And as you can see here, I've set that as the priority. So CTORC is still there, and if I don't get any information from the USB GPS, um, it'll time out, and then I'll pick up that data from CTORC. And I've also done the same for position and speed over ground, which has helped my OpenCPN setup. So again, same setup here, GPS first, CTORC second, and with a timer. And as I say, if, if the position information was to fail, then what would happen is it would fail back over and it would pick up that information from CTOC. So it's really useful, especially if you've got um, similar data sources coming in, um, which can cause other applications such as OpenCPN to crash. You can set that priority and you will not see that data unless that primary source um, has failed. Then I'm converting that back from Signal K back into um, NMEA 0183. And essentially that's then making its way over to OpenCPN. And that's how I get that data. And you can see there on the right hand side, the different sources that are coming in. Um, and that's all coming in through that connection. So if you head back over to Signal K in the data browser and you do a search for one of those fields just to check that everything is set up correctly, for example, uh, navigation date time for myself, you'll see that I've only got one source of data here and that source currently is the USB GPS device, not the CTOR network. I hope that's been helpful. Any questions that you've got, please do let us know. There's going to be quite a few videos coming out um, as there's been some updates to some of the projects that I've been doing recently, so check back soon. Thanks.